I ain't mad. <laughs> I ain't mad at all. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Steph Mayers. I do everything to do with fashion, travel, lifestyle, with a sprinkle of luxury here and there. If you're new here, you should subscribe. You should also bring a friend to come and subscribe because that's what we do over here, referral systems, okay? Um, and if you're back here, you know Gangway, really appreciate you guys. If you're not already, you should follow me on Instagram. My at is down here. I'll probably put stuff up on Instagram first, like pictures and styling and stuff before it hits YouTube. So I'd say follow me if you're not already. So we're back with some more content in tune with like valentine's day coming up so i've just picked out some of my favorite dresses from asos um that you could wear to valentine's day that you could just wear on a night out date night evening nights out with the girls whatever it may be um but i really like these and i hope that you will too so yeah let's just get into the video before i start rambling on so this is the first video I got from ASOS. It's an ASOS own design um, mini dress. I don't know if you can see how long this is, but um, I really, really like this dress. Number one, it's the color of the season, chocolate brown. You know you're gonna catch me in some chocolate brown. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I love the detail in here. I love the support it gives me. So I do like to wear plunge dresses now and again, but I don't like when the plunge dresses don't give you that support you need, especially for us um, bigger chested girls. But this really gives me the support um, and I love that it's a bit low cut. It's not too plunge, so you can tuck the girls away. And I love the back detailing that comes down a bit lower. So I've got tattoos on my back, so I like that that can be seen. It kind of gives me a little sexy feel, a little flirty feel. Um, and yeah, I like the material. The material is um, jersey. It's jersey, but it doesn't feel too cheap. Like, I think I can get away with wearing this to an occasion. Oh, I'm about to fall over. Wearing this to an occasion without feeling like it's a two pound dress, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I really like this. I really, really like this. I don't think there's too much to say around it. I love it. I love what it does for the figure. I love how everything looks. I would literally pair this as an all brown outfit. So I have some brown heels from ASOS, chocolate brown as well. I'd wear that and I'll probably wear my Alma BB. And yeah, accessorise with gold, like I'm already wearing gold earrings. So yeah, that would be part of it. I really love this little ruching detail here as well. I don't know, it just kind of kind of gives adds details to the waist and just kind of pulls everything together so it kind of gives it more dimension than just a basic bodycon dress for me um and that ruching kind of adds to the detailing on the um on the sleeve not the sleeve on the strap here so i really really love that it's giving me like a ruched effect but yeah i really love that it definitely brings it up from a one-dimensional um bodycon dress for me and the color the colour has me sold. Like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, there was no way I wasn't picking this up. The body looked good in it. Yeah, this is this is it for me. This is it for me. And with the hair and the gold, and you know, I'm a gold babe, so yeah. Yeah, I really love this. And it was cheap and cheerful as well. Um, I will double check, but I think this was £18, and I got this in a size 10. Um, it was a bit of a task to put on because there isn't a zip, but if this is the final product, I am <laughs> The next dress I got from Club L was this red little number. Um, I got this in a size 12 and I will put the price um, over here somewhere. I'm not too sure about this one because you already know in my last video I said I wasn't really a typical Valentine's Day babe. I'm not a red and a pinkish babe on a normal day. So I picked this out just because I liked the design here and it reminded me of a House of CB dress that I really loved. So I was just wondering what the execution would be like. So um, the ma majority of this dress is, is satin and it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel too um, cheap. Yeah, I'm not in love with this detailing around the bust. I feel like the execution wasn't quite there. But for its price point, um, I don't know if we can really complain if you are trying to avoid paying House of CB prices. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know how to feel. I don't really know how to feel about this one. It's like it's quite, it's almost there, but it's just not quite hit the mark for me i don't know about you guys so yeah i got this in a size 12 as well so that might be it as well maybe if i'd gotten a size 10 um maybe i would have liked it more maybe it would have been more like more cinched in where it was meant to be because right now it feels a bit ill-fitting on me especially when it comes to satin you kind of want to get your size so it sits um correctly um yeah so that's what i really don't like i don't like how the body is like creasing up on me and it's not really sculpting me but yeah i wouldn't i know i wouldn't keep this but i hope 
somebody out there likes it so you know you found you found a cute little number but yeah to the next dress this dress is from a brand called parisian um still from asos i got this in a size 12 and i will link the price surprise surprise another chocolate dress i i <laughs> i don't know if you're surprised i'm not surprised this dress right here i'm feeling it I am I am absolutely feeling it. I am so shocked by it. I'm shocked by the quality of it. The satin, compared to the last satin dress, this satin feels, it feels, it feels good. I can't lie to you. It feels really good. Um, when I saw that this was meant to be like a cow neck dress, even though it's not cowling so much because of my bust, um, I was a bit skeptical just because whenever I get cow neck dresses in satin, they never support my bust. But I was pleasantly surprised to see like this is actually holding the girls up without any support, any bra. So I'm in love with that. I'm in love with the deep chocolate colour. I'm in love with the fit. I got this in a size 12 if I haven't mentioned it already. You probably can't see but it's a midi dress so it, got, it comes past my knee. It's just resting um, just below my knee um, and I'm 5 foot 9 for reference. I just can't get over the material on this dress. It's like got a buttery feel but it's satin. It's giving me like silk vibes, but I know this ain't silk. So for my busty babes, if you're busty as well, I'm not even too busty, but if you're busty, um, I would definitely say this would give you the support you're after. Like I'm literally, I've literally only just zipped up to the top. I'm not wearing any bra, any support under there. And yeah, I'm just going to ramble on. Guys, I'm in love. I am in love. Yeah, I'm in love. Are you seeing this dress? Are you, are you seeing this dress? Are you seeing what? Ah! I am in love with this dress, guys. This is a bit of me. This is a bit of me. I don't always like to be all out there, but I do, not, I do love a nice silhouette. And when I saw this on the babe, and she was a petite babe, so I was like, oh, I wish I could see it on a taller person to see if it would be tall enough for me, because I don't think it was a tall section, but I think I checked her height. I think she was like five foot nine or five foot 10, so I was like, I think I could get away with this. But guys, I love, love, love this dress. I am in love. I'm not going to say anything else, but I'm in love with this dress. Number one, do you see these cuffs? Do you see this? And you know me, I love a nice cuff. I like, I like a nicely constructed cuff. And this balloon sleeve right here into the cuff, they sold, I was sold just on that. And then the detailing on the front, the support on the bust without a bra. And then to top it all off, I'm a peplum skirt kind of girl. I can't lie to you. I'm a peplum hem whore. I am. Are you allowed to say that on YouTube? Hmm. This colour is not quite khaki. It's not quite grey. It's like a brownie, a, a washed brown, if that's the right word for it. What? Get me to a brunch right now. Get me to brunch right now. I ain't doing this no more. Get me to a brunch right now. What? This is amazing with gold, look at the gold accessories. I just can't get over the support. This is something I look for when I buy dresses because listen, I, I, I don't have time to wear a bra every time I wanna go out, okay? Especially when I wanna go on a night out. So you're gonna have to give me some sort of support in the dress that I can work with, maybe with tape, with imagination, with guard. You gotta give me something. So when a dress supports you like this, like I am moving and I am not moving at the same time, and this detailing, this ruching panel here, this is giving me fashion. This is giving me fashion. What? Guys, I'm so excited. Like this is generally, <laughs> this is generally my reaction because, uh, do you know what? When I, when I do hauls, I know sometimes not all the items are gonna bang because I'm going off my imagination. And I don't wanna lie to you guys. So I make sure I keep everything in there that I've bought that might, it, I was, I was, you know, I was on a going off a whim when I bought it, but I just want to be honest with you guys. But when I buy something and it bangs, and this bangs, <laughs> I would pair this with my um, print Dionysus bag, and I'd probably pair it with um, some nude heels. Um, yeah. No, guys, I can't even speak. I'm so sorry if I'm not articulating myself well. But the way I preach about ASOS. They just come with the gems. They just, they just know. Like just because it's fast fashion doesn't mean it has to be pants. And I stand by that. This right here, I would keep this dress until the end of time, as long as it survived the washing machine. So, ASOS and Parisian and I saw it first have all colluded um, to take my money because this is banging. 
<laughs> this is banging. So this is the shorter version of the initial chocolate cow neck dress I showed you earlier. So I got this in a size 12 as well, but this is the mini version. I don't know if you can see, um, but I love where it sits as a mini. Like it's not too ridiculously mini because obviously it is a fitted dress and I got this in rust. It ain't no difference, except that this, I think this cow's a bit more than the chocolate version, but I'm not mad at that. There's, I think there's an extra like detailing around the waist here. So the seam like is a bit more visible. So it does kind of tuck you in around the waist. I'm not mad at that either. I just can't believe we can't go out. What? This is a banging dress. This is a banging, banging, banging dress. Like, ugh. I'm so happy I found this. I'm so, so happy I found this because all of this is entering my wardrobe. When it's time to go out, I promise you, I'm just gonna be like, yep. You wanna go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Like, I'm out. Sorry guys, I'm just ranting. Back to the hall. I love this. Absolutely fitted. My waist feels snatched. My body feels sculpted. The girls are supported. They've been supported more than they have been throughout this pandemic. And I tell you that is a thing. But um, yeah, I love this. I love it. And I was, remember I said when I was trying on the chocolate, I was a bit apprehensive of like getting a mini version because it might've been too much. But I love how the mini isn't an overkill. It's not too tight. It's not too short. And I'm a tall babe. But um, yeah, absolutely love this. I would definitely recommend this. I can't stop touching it. The satin just has such a buttery feel. It's just so nice compared to the other satin I tried earlier, right? Oh, guys, this one is a tad much for me. And that's saying a lot. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's just because I just I don't feel as supported. I wish they had um I wish they had um used a different material for the bodycon. I wish it wasn't just jersey, I wish it was like a thicker um material just to help keep the girls in place because the whole side, as you can see, is all strappy and I really love the detailing. But yeah, on to the next dress. Okay, so the next dress I picked up was this little number from um, Femme Lux. I got this in a size 12 also. Um, I'm sorry to say, but I think this is my least favorite dress so far. I don't know, when I saw it on the girl, it just looks so much more edgy, so cute. And you know, I love me a bit of peplum hem. I didn't mind the little crisscross cleavage. I don't like this ruching detail here. Um, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I hate when I try to convince myself I like something. I'll be like, oh no, but I'm like, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. And it's so bad because when not somebody else is asking me, oh, do you like this? I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm like, I don't like it. Let me know what you think about this one. I'm just going to literally skirt past this because um I don't want to be fake and say I like it when I don't. Um so yeah. Onto the next dress. Okay. So I feel like I already know what you guys are gonna be thinking when you see this one. Oh, it's so plain, it's so basic. So it's by one of my favorite brands on ASOS, Vespa, and the way they cut clothing, the way the clothing fits is just phenomenal. And for me, even though this is a plain dress, there's elements on it that just kind of accentuate it from a normal black bodycon cami dress to like, this is a look for me, I'm so sorry. Number one, the figure. The, the, the silhouette it's given me, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Um, I did get this in a size 10, so obviously, I did get this in a size 10, so it's more um, fitted than it usually, well, than I would usually get because I get a size 12 when I know, but I just feel like for a black dress like this, I just needed it tight, sculpted, and just, stuck to me like glue for me this is when i'm in my grown woman bag like i'm just like yes what's up i do love this one um for valentine's day probably not <laughs> probably not but for dinner everything else formal events definitely yes um i mean if you want to wear it for valentine's day it's up to you um i know i could get away with wearing this just because it's not every time i want to be doing up red body con i told you guys in the last video some days i just want to wear what i feel like wearing as long as i look nice it should be fine 
you're gonna like it too love, love this dress first of all this dress is 8.95 and they only had a size 12 in stock so i did get a size 12 but with vespa i know that their construction is on point i know the fit is on point so i was just like 10 12 it doesn't matter if it's stretchy I'm, i just need this dress nine pounds for a vespa dress are you kidding me um and even the lime green because i left like lime green way back when i left that way back when i think like 2018 2019 times i stopped wearing lime green because like it's just not my it's not my vibe anymore but when i saw this and i think one of my friends wore it um when we went to dubai and i loved it on her it looks so beautiful so when i saw that it went down to nine pounds i was like i have to pick this up i'll pair this with some gold heels from zara gold accessories you already know the vibe and this for me with some curled what I need to stop saying what, right guys? I don't know what material this is. It feels like Bengaline. I think that's the name for it. But literally, the way it just holds on to your body and it's not really unflattering. Like I've got a little foop situation going on here and it's not unflattering to that. I know you can see it, we can see it, but it's like it's okay, do you know what I mean? It's not like bodycon that would literally separate into the dip. I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think as well. And now we're on to the last dress, which is sad. I hope you've liked it so far and make sure you have subscribed somewhere along the way, okay? You guys know I couldn't end the haul without an LBD. Like, no. <laughs> I am such an LBD babe. Like, when in vain, when unsure, when apprehensive, when scared, when don't give a hell pick up an lbd make sure along the way in life you are always picking up lbds you see that just make sense and these could be different lbds different lbds for different situations you see this right here this is an lbd and this isn't just like a oh let's go to the club lbd this is a multi-functioning lbd so this is the shorter um black version of the chocolate dress i initially showed you with the ruching detail that kind of comes up to this ruching up on the straps I really love it. I love that it's plunged, but it's not doing too much. Like the girls are nicely tucked away. I love that there's some support going on here. So like I got this in a size 10, very decent price. Love that. The only con I will say about this dress is that the bodycon material again, if you're making such a nice dress like this, nice structure, nice execution, especially on the top half, the bodycon you use on the rest of the dress should at least be double lined. It should at least be a thicker, version of bodycon than just jersey material but that being said i still like it <laughs> i still like it this is still giving me body yari 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 and you already know i love the chocolate version so the black is not going to be any different again this would be an all black fit for me why if i'm trying to do something 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 different from them um yeah i love this with the black curled hair as well gold accessories always yeah so the only thing is just this jersey material isn't it is not doing it for me i can't lie to you and you see the difference between the vespa dresses i was telling you about and this jersey because this is just normal jersey material instead of it to like kind of structure and like hold um my little fupa here it's actually highlighting the fupa especially because it goes from this ruched material that's kind of double lined into just a normal body con you can see my fupa is more visible there's more attention being drawn towards that area so always look for dresses that are more like double lined a better bodycon um even if it is a cheaper price that dress was nine pounds and it wasn't giving me this so you know spend money with sense always anywho we have come to the end of the haul i really hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've been able to pick up something from yourself or at least gotten some inspo or at least enjoyed my personality one of the three you, you you must have at least done one of the three and if you're not subscribed by now what are you waiting for you've come all this way hit the subscribe button go and tell a friend to come and watch too and subscribe because that's what we do over here referral systems that's what we do um and if you're back here you know gangway i really appreciate you guys let me know what you've really liked what you'd like to see next in the comments below make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when i next post and until then i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>